right, everybody. Now it's time for me to talk about one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies. So sit back, grab a plate of Santa's favorite cookies, and maybe hug a raccoon. Oh wait, buddy, no! So Elf is a movie about a human named Buddy. Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Okay, Buddy, that's enough. Anyways, it's about a human named Buddy who somehow winds up growing up in the North Pole with Santa, with his elves, but he discovers he doesn't exactly fit in. He's too big for literally everything. The basketball teams, the bathrooms, the showers, so we, I mean, everything seems kind of a miss. So one day, the elves tell him, yeah, you're a human and your father's in New York City. So Buddy the Elf, played by Will Ferrell, travels off to discover his father and discover the rest of his family. Now, what I can say about Elf is this is a movie very much like it's a Wonderful Life where it just keeps getting better and better every time I watch it to the point where I understand there are some people who are a little bit lukewarm about Elf or don't really like it. Honestly, at this point, I don't exactly see why. This movie is filled to the brim with lots of laughs, lots of great characters, and it's just an overall great time and is just filled with the Christmas spirit. Also, the thing that makes this movie so gosh darn funny is a combination of Buddy the Elf's childlike innocence and his excitement when he discovers new things. Who remembers the world's best cup of coffee scene? And who laughs literally every single time it comes up? I know, right? Or maybe when Buddy discovers a girl in the shower for the first time? Honestly, there are so many moments and so many scenes I love from this movie, and the biggest reason is because of Will Ferrell's performance. This, in my opinion, is one of the best performance Will Ferrell has given. It is so good. Like I said before, Buddy is innocent, he's so curious about this new world of discovery found in New York, and every time you find something new to be excited about, you are right there with him and you're just as excited as he is. And of course, like every great movie made for kids and adults, this movie has some humor that will go right over every little kid's head and will make the adults in the audience die laughing. For instance, this is the first movie I ever remember seeing Peter Dinklage in. He plays this really uptight business associated storyteller. And we all know that Peter Dinklage is a little guy, but Buddy the Elf has never seen a small person before and he has this reaction. I didn't know you had elves working here. Once again, that is one of the scenes I watch every year and I laugh harder every single time I watch it. However, Elf isn't all laugh, laughs, jokes, 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 jokes. It is very comedic and a very fish out of water sense, but there's also a lot of heart to it too. Throughout Buddy's entire journey through New York with discovering his father and his family, there are some interactions with the people he is blood related to that are not only charming, it was so heartfelt and so good that my eyes welled up with tears and I got choked up. And I gotta mention that this film was kind of unique to the Christmas spectrum, if not the movie spectrum as a whole. Of course, the fish out of water story is something we have seen time and time again but this story about somebody who was adopted by Santa's elves who has to go off and find out who his actual family is that is something pretty unique and personally for me up until when I first saw this movie I had never seen anything like it before Christmas movie or otherwise if there is one con that I have with the movie elf it's not a big one it's just for me personally it feels like at the very end of elf there was some stuff that wasn't exactly montage through but it was very quick and it had very montage ish pacing and then the movie's over. However, that doesn't change the fact that every single year the Christmas season rolls around, I am more than happy to pop this movie in, watch it, laugh at it, love it, and get the beautiful messages that this movie is trying to teach. Like I've said already over and over again, this is one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies, and guys, Elf is suit worthy. <laughs> And before we go, guys, I just gotta say a big thank you to you. We passed 200 subscribers. I have a quick update video about that fact. But like I've said over and over again, this the, the success of this channel would not be 
if it wasn't for you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your comments and your suggestions of how to improve my channel. Thank you to everybody I've had the chance and the honor of interacting with. You guys are all awesome and I cannot wait to interact with you and talk with you in the comments, talk with you on Twitter, talk with you about anything and everything. And just so you know, I have a very special Q&A video that is going to be up bright and early tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And coming this Saturday, also at Eastern Standard Time, I have a Blu-ray collection video. You guys have been asking about the movies on my shelf behind me, and you've asked for it. We've reached 200 subscribers, so I will give unto you what you've asked for. And once again, thank you all so much. You all are a bunch of rock stars, and I love each and every single one of you, and can't wait to talk with you more in the future. And as always, it is what you say that matters. So have you seen Elf? Honestly, it's going to surprise me, if not hurt me a little bit on the inside, if you haven't yet. And if you haven't seen it, oh, go check it out right now, and then come back to this video and leave what your thoughts on the movie down below. And if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right there and subscribe and become part of the fray of nerds who love cinema. You all have a fantastic day.